Inside of this checkout form, when you scroll down, I have the order summary collapsed. And when you expand it, if you notice, there's two things that you can't do. You can't remove a product that's here and you can't change the quantity. Now, these are options that we usually have enabled by default. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to disable them. First, we need to go to the checkout form. So I'll click on forms and here's the form right here. Fun with cooking. Now for this, I like to have the list view enabled and this right here is the list view and I'm going to click to expand all the elements that make up this checkout form. So when I scroll down, this is the totals area right here. And when I click on it, you'll see I have some options here on the right. Now I like to have it collapsed by default. So let's uncollapse it. Great. And right here's an arrow and I click on it. These are all the elements that make up this order summary box. So I'm going to go ahead and click right here where the product is added. And it just happens to be where it says line items. And then you could see two options here off to the right. Is it going to be removable? So when this option is enabled, you can see there'll be an X that is visible for the buyer to remove items from the pre-filled out checkout form, as well as editable. If I toggle this on, you're going to see the quantity changer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on update. Now let's refresh this checkout form. And when I scroll down, you can see now I can change the quantity and I can remove an item from the cart. And you can see it also loaded expanded. I like to have it collapsed by default. And just a reminder, all of the elements that make up your checkout form, you can easily click into it. And then on the right hand column there, there's going to be options to change how it works so that it does exactly what you need it to do.